Narama ma ye be the obvious. Sitting in the mondi victorious, hypnotize the girls, yen di notorious. She wanna bad man like me, with a confidant. She wanna bad man like me. Girl, I don't chill, never sunny. Girl, ni tu jenda na batari, stand toes hasi, stick beside me. Girl, she want a bad man like me. Girl, I don't chill, never sunny. Girl, ni tu jenda na batari, stand toes hasi, stick beside me. Yeah, that's a Camille Woody for figure. Some who can a gang, standard. Who carry gang, standard. Who want easy cash, standard. It's in your way, Gordy, you standard. Thank you for keeping up with the new times. Join me as I interview our guest today, the musician E.T. So, how are you? I'm good, thank you for having me. What is going on? Happy New Year. What, what do you have in store for us this year? Tell me a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, so my plan is to start the year off like on a high note. Mm -hmm. um, I have a new video dropping very soon. The album is pretty much done. So, I think January we're starting off on a high note. Mm -hmm. Dropping a lot of music and yeah, just getting off on the right foot. So everything is coming up for us this January? Um, I mean, a lot is coming in January. I wouldn't say everything because there's still a lot more, obviously, in stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I actually want to know, how did you start? When did you start loving music? Where did this yeah. come from? Uh, starting music, uh, it's been... Um, I have to remember, it's probably been six, seven years, almost seven years mm -hmm. since I wrote for the first time. I was in high school. Um, so I used to write just poems and stuff like that. And then later when I could go to the studio, I'd go and record and yeah, it's just been, it's just been going on since then. What, why, when you started, why did you start? Like, mm -hmm. was there a, a why or did you just start? Um, I don't know, I think I just, I really love music and a lot of people around me used to always say, yo, you're that music guy. You're the guy who knows all the songs, who knows everything about what's going on in music. And like, you should probably, one of my friends told me that he was like, yo, you should probably write your own music. And uh, I was in boarding school at the time, so I couldn't really go to the studio and I had a lot of time. So I just decided to try it. And when I tried it, I, I couldn't stop. So I just kept doing it. You just like fell in love immediately yeah yeah so like how what happened after you left school and you had access to the studio mm -hmm. who did you who did you fit into like yeah. what musicians what music did you listen to yeah. that brought this sound this quality of writing yeah. out of you um i, I think I, I think it's because i listen to a lot i listen to a lot of music from like a lot of different people so whether it's just from hip hop to R and B to uh, just a whole bunch of other stuff, you know. Um, so, in 2017, that's when I finished high school. So, as soon as I finished the next day, I was in the studio. So, uh, I was fortunate enough to have some of my friends who knew how to produce and had, you know, certain little things that we could try to record with, mm -hmm. even if it would just be a phone or anything that we could get our hands on. So. As soon as I finished like high school, we just went to the studio and yeah, it's been going on since then. Okay, so you're yeah. having a good day. Mm -hmm. Who is in your playlist? Who are you listening to? Or you um, want to get inspired? Yeah, so on a good day, I'm listening to a lot of trap music, <laughs> a lot of Afrobeat, just things that get me hype, I think. Uh, I sometimes listen to, I like to say I'm listening to the Migos, I'm listening to Future, I'm listening, on the other hand, I'm listening to Summer Walker, I'm listening to every new generation, like musician from Randa. I listen to all of them. All my peers make great music from, you know, the Kenny K. Shots, the Ish Kevins, the Sema Soles, like everyone, basically Mike Iwuda. I listen to everyone, all of my peers, and just a lot, a lot of music, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big so, fan. We know you from Cantona. But before mm -hmm. Cantona happened, you actually mm -hmm. released an album. Yeah, I did. Tell me more about it. Yeah. What the songs are about, the themes behind it, inspiration. Yeah. I just want to get into it. Yeah. So um, before Cantona, Cantona was in 2021. 
But in 2020, I dropped um, an album called uh, KG Alien, which is like an alien from KGL because I'm ET. Um, you know, for people who didn't really understand what it was. But um, ET the yeah. alien from the movie. Yeah, from the movie. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched it, you should try it out. It's a you should. It's a classic, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah, I released it in March of 2020. Uh, right before the pandemic, um, yeah, it had ten songs on there, and the album really helped me also get to a whole not like a whole other group of people who didn't know about me. Um, one of them being Paifo, actually, Paifo got to know me through my uh, one of my songs on the album called "Stick by Me," and he texted me. He was posting me everywhere. I didn't even know him at the time. So wow, yeah. So that's how we got to know each other from the album. So. Yeah, like it took me also a couple months to make it, um, but it's just a very personal project. If you really want to get to know me, uh, you can start from that project. It's everywhere. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, everything. So basically, yeah, if a person wants to know who you are, yeah, listen to the album. <laughs> yeah, if you want to know some parts of me, yeah, okay, definitely. So what is it about the album you love? Like what pulled you in about yeah. your album? Um, I think it's because at the time I wasn't really thinking too much about what people were thinking about in terms of what they want or it was very personal. It's the type of music that I would make if I didn't share it with anyone, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, and the yeah. best way to do something is to do it if nobody got to see it or yeah, if you never got paid for it. Literally, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's great because uh, even though that was my mindset while doing it, it still managed to touch a lot of people. There's a lot of kids now who are also making music who come to me and they're like oh et i know you from kj alien and i'm like oh wait you know me from way back not just recently so mm -hmm. it did a lot as well for me that i didn't even know and i'm still learning about it now how does it feel to be impacting a whole new generation <laughs> i mean I, I don't know if i'm there yet but to be honest yeah sometimes i see it because i meet a lot of um younger artists and artists you know my age, same generation, basically. So every time you meet, um, it's a beautiful thing to feel like, you know, your music travels. Cause we used to make these songs uh, in a room, just like in a in a bedroom. Like not, we didn't even have a studio. So in a bedroom, the songs that you would make with two of your friends, one of your friends, to realize how far you can get, is just really inspiring. Like I met. Um, I met um, one of the OGs in this rap industry. I met Bulldog at the studio a few months ago and I was gonna introduce myself. He was like, oh, E.T., how are you doing? He gave me respect. Wow, how yeah. did that feel? That felt amazing because people don't understand but we look up to, you know, all generations, you know. Um, you look up to earlier generations. Yeah, yeah, earlier generations because they all have our respect, not just me. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's a beautiful thing to see how far this music travels and how many people it can impact without you even knowing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it definitely inspires me to continue. Yeah, so um, I love your journey. I'm mm -hmm. enjoying listening to it, learning yeah. about you. Yeah. And I know mental health has been affecting, mental health issues mm -hmm. have been affecting so many people all around the world, especially mm -hmm. those in, let's say, your age range, my age range. Mm -hmm. So as a creative mm -hmm. and as a young person, yeah, how is it? How is how how have you coped with it, mm -hmm. or maybe integrated it into your music? Because you say yeah. your first album, KG Alien, is like how people get to know you. So I assume some of that is in there. So like, how do you how do you deal with it? How do you cope with it? Oh man, that's a very good question, honestly, because um, a lot of people don't talk about it, but it's a big issue. Um, in not only our generation but like everywhere you go i mean someone you never know what someone is going through so um personally um i think a lot of artists you know not just people my age but also people in our community as artists go through a lot of that um but don't talk about it because i don't know it, it's it's like you have to hold a certain image you know to be an artist and you know a character so i think it's it's always good to have a space to talk about it because it's not easy um we're still growing as an industry as a people so um 
It's hard to really, you know, talk about it. It's such a big um, topic in itself, but um, I just, you know, personally how I deal with it is I try my best to surround myself with people who um, I've known way before any of this. And um, that just keeps me grounded in the way it's, I, I think that's the advice I'd give to anyone, honestly. Just um, have real people around you and have people you can talk to because it's really not easy. Yeah, mm. so yeah, I think that's what I'd say. Yeah, so it's been a pretty long while since 2017 to mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. How do you think you've evolved as an artist? Mm -hmm. And what lessons have you learned along the journey? Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's true. From 2017, the first time I got into the studio, um, right up until 2022, 2023 right now. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of growth because it also takes a lot, um, what's the word? It takes just a lot of time to get comfortable because you go outside and you meet so many talented people, you meet so many people who've been doing this for even longer than you or people are just naturally gifted. So um, over the years, the one thing that I think has stood out the most for me is um, just, you know, having good relationships with people. That really helps you grow as well because you're more comfortable trying new things. You're more comfortable doing collaborations. You're more comfortable also being yourself. So I think from 2017 to 2022, the thing that I'm most proud of as ET right now is, I don't know, just the growth and the fact that I'm still the same person, but also that I'm, um, that I keep changing myself and reinventing because uh, people are gonna hear this when the album drops, it's gonna be um, it's just a whole new side of me that, you know, people knew, but like with a bit more sauce on it, you know, a lot of things that people it was wouldn't more expect. more focus on it. Yeah, definitely. And focus is a big word because that's, that's what happens over the years you 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 focus a lot more on your craft and yeah. how to get better how to you know just clean everything up and make it as polished as possible mm -hmm. yeah so you've been talking collaborations and i've noticed mm -hmm. you love your random artists i do you've collaborated with quite a couple mm -hmm. what collaborations have meant have shaped your journey as a mm -hmm. musician mm -hmm. and which collaborations do you plan to do in the future mm -hmm. also based on these collaborations and just like interacting with the music industry mm -hmm. where do you see random music heading yeah um okay so i'd start with the collaborations that have uh, impacted me i think the most i think obviously it's pi4 pi4 and kenny uh we're not only people who got together to make one song like we're actually we're actually friends we're actually brothers and to this day they're my people so it was very easy to work with them and even when we do perform together and you know the projects that are coming because i will be honest there is more coming as well throughout mm -hmm. the year um with them uh with one of them with both of them it's gonna be a lot so there is that there is a davis d one as well came to like, like i told you i'm a very big fan of the older generation so mm -hmm. having them reach out to me and want to work with me as well that was a big deal yeah. for me and for my career obviously um and some on the project as well that i'm very excited about okay um yeah so an artist you haven't collaborated with in rwanda mm -hmm. or in africa mm -hmm. that you would love to collaborate with yeah and why um every time someone asks me that like <laughs> i mean i have a direct answer but i also have more it's not just one person mm -hmm. but uh, the first person that comes to mind is um is Mike. Mike Aguilar is, uh, people have told me that as well. We've met, we've talked about it. Um, but I think me and him would make, you know, some really good music together. Um, but in Africa as well, um, man, I'm a fan of a whole lot of, a whole lot of people, you know. It has to be from people my generation first and then from older generations as well. And then we have to go to East Africa. There's mm -hmm. so many people. I just, I, I'm a big fan of um, of Calligraph Jones. I'm a big fan of Brooklyn Boys. I'm a big fan of a lot of Nigerian artists, the Remas, the new generation, basically. 
So yeah, you know, God willing, you know. You get to collaborate. Yeah, why not? You get to intertwine. Yeah, why not? You should, you yeah. really, really should. So um, you've been teasing about this new album, so yeah. I want to know. Yeah. What, why, when, everything, <laughs> tell me. Okay, first so, of all, what is it called? Okay, so first time I'm going to actually mention this. Uh, the album is called It Takes a Village. Um, it Takes a Village is um, from a, an old proverb that means it takes a village to raise a child or to raise a man. And I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned from my journey. It's just that you can go a long way by yourself, but you go further with a group of people and with a village, you know. With a team. With a team, with um, just collaborations, like we said, with just being open to working with people because mm -hmm. that's something that's hard for me sometimes because I'm a bit, you know, in my bubble. But it's the biggest lesson that I had to learn over the years and just be like, yo, listen, it, I, you can't do this by yourself. You can get far and you can do a lot by yourself, but it's not, you're really not, it's really not the same. So yeah, mm -hmm. the album is called It Takes a Village by E.T. When do we get to see it? When, would, when do we get to sample? Very soon. It's, um, it's on my birthday actually, so I'm born on January 21st, so Saturday. Wow, okay. What should we expect from the album? Like, What do you want your listeners to feel when um, they listen? Man, I'm excited. Just, I really want to talk about this, <laughs> but um, I, just, I just know we miss each other. You know, me and my fans and people who support me and listen to me. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time and uh, all I can really say is that it's going to be worth your time because I really took my time as well, clearly. Um, but um, the one thing that you can expect is it's raw. It's really, it's, we're not cutting corners. We're not, um, you know, we're not playing games with this one. You know, it's really raw, it's real. Um, and you'll feel everything. You'll feel, you'll be hype, you'll want to dance, you'll want to cry, you'll want to love, you'll want to do everything. And I think it's just what I want. Um, I want people to be able to listen to this during any time, you know, whether you're happy, whether you're sad, whether you're having a good time, whether you're by yourself, whether you're with your friends. And I know, I know we managed to do this with the people that I worked with. Uh, and again, I have to take this opportunity to really thank everyone who worked with me on this project because it really does take a village. Like it's really a lot of people and the credits, all credits goes to them as well. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you. We cannot yeah. wait to check out this album. Yes, thank you so much for having me as well. And I can't wait to share with everyone. God bless. Thank you. Thanks.